Hi guys, welcome back to Get Your Play Online. My name is Mackenzie and today we are going to be making some super fun safari animal masks. I'm going to show you how to make an elephant, a lion, a rhinoceros, and a frog. So the things that you're going to need for today are going to be some paper plates. Um, these ones are my favorite just because they're a little bit more flimsy. Um, you're going to be needing some scissors, some markers, some string. Um, I'm going to be using two different types of glue. You don't have to. I just think it makes it a little bit easier. I'm going to be using the regular school glue and I'm also going to be using some glue sticks. I'm going to be using some cotton balls and some paint. I have two different kinds. I have just some regular washable paint and then I have some of the paint pots and then we'll be using some paint brushes. So let's get started. I'm going to turn on some music while we do some art. So let's get started. I'm going to point you down just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Um, so first, we are going to lay down um, an extra paper plate just to make sure that we don't get any paint on our table. So we are going to grab one paper plate. See if I can get this apart. Sometimes these ones can be a little bit tricky and they might get stuck together a little bit. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make the lion. We're gonna make this. And so the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to cut it in half. Now, when you are using scissors, make sure you are very careful um, and make sure you ask mom or dad before you start using them. So we are just going to cut off just a little bit of this paper plate. And we're going to cut off about that much of your paper plate. And then next, we're going to fold, but don't make a crease because we're just going to cut some eye holes. So you're just going to cut a semi-circle, a half circle. This part is a little tricky, so um, if you're not super comfortable cutting like this, make sure you ask mom and dad for some help. So just cut it, and it's okay if your eye holes aren't the same on both sides. So then you should have some eye holes like that. Mine are a little bit crooked, and that's okay. Um, it doesn't matter too, too much. So next, what we're going to do is I'm going to take some um, markers for this one. I'll show you how to do paint in one of the other ones. But for this one, I'm going to take some, I'm going to take a yellow marker, and I'm going to color all of my lion. And don't worry about getting all the way up to the edge. See, I'm leaving just a little bit of mine open because that's where our cotton balls are going to go. But you do want to make sure that you cover all of the bottom edge.
All right. And then I left just a little bit of um, white around just because this is the part that's going to get covered up by those cotton balls. So the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to take an extra paper plate that I have and pour some of my brown paint onto my paper plate. Um, just do a little bit up first and you can add more if you need more. And we're going to take our cotton balls and we are going to unroll them. that we have something that kind of looks like this and we're going to take it and we're going to just dip it in the paint now the reason that I recommend using washable paint is because this can get kind of messy so you want to make sure that it washes off of your hands just take it and dip it and get it all in there And then wipe off some of the extra. Have something that kind of looks like this. Just like that. And then we're going to take some glue. Wipe off my hands just a little bit. We're going to take some of our regular school glue, our white glue. And we're going to start at one edge. We'll just put a little bit of glue on there. We're going to stretch this out so it's a little bit longer. We're just going to put it down on your paper plate. We're going to continue to do that. So unroll it. This one is not unrolling super well. So unroll it just like that, stick it down in the paint, I'm going to add a bit more paint, just add little bits at a time, I want you make sure you aren't wasting paint at the end. Just add a little bit at a time, sometimes it's easier if you kind of spread it around a little bit all over your plate. Get like a bigger circle like I have right here. And we are just going to lightly dip our lion mane. So it looks like that. I'm going to make it a little bit more brown. Just like that. It's okay if you aren't getting every single piece of your cotton ball covered. That is totally okay. I'll put some glue down. Put your cotton ball down. And then next I'm going to show you another way to paint your cotton balls. So if you aren't a fan of how messy this one is, you can always take a cotton ball, unravel it, this one was not unraveling super, super well, that's okay, unravel it, put some glue down, Put your cotton ball on there. And then we're going to take a paintbrush and our paint. And we are just going to paint our cotton ball. And just kind of do like a 
squishing motion with your paintball or with your paintbrush and your cotton ball. Or you can hold parts of your cotton ball that haven't been painted yet and you can paint with a swiping motion like this. Whichever one is easier for you. I'm gonna add, there isn't quite enough glue down here. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more glue for this cotton ball. So like that. And since I have some on my paper plate, I'm gonna take some brown from my paper plate and use up the rest of that. And then I have just a little bit of room left, so I'm gonna take about half a cotton ball this time. Roll it out, put some glue down, and press it down. My paintbrush, there's a spot on here that I didn't really like, so I'm just gonna paint over it a little bit more. Ready this one. Hold down some unpainted cotton ball. I think the squishing motion is sometimes a little bit easier on the outside edge where you may have a little bit more cotton ball fluff, but where it's a little bit flatter, I think the swiping motion is a little bit easier. There is the mane of our lion. And next, I'm going to take a pink marker. I'm going to draw the nose. Let's see if I can draw it upside down so you guys can kind of see. So I'm going to start flat up top curve down and make kind of a curved triangle just like that and then I'm going to color it in just like that so your nose should look something like that now and we're going to take a black marker we're going to make two nose holes Just like that. Um, and then this one is going to have to dry a little bit before we can cut some string holes. Just to make sure that our cotton balls don't fall off. So I'm going to set this one to the side for a little bit until we are all done. So next, I'm going to grab another paper plate just to paint on. And then I'm going to grab a whole paper plate this time. This one we aren't going to cut. This is going to be our elephant. So for your elephant, we're going to paint with this side with the curved side facing up. So I'm going to flip my plate over, my bottom plate over, just to kind of help. So we're going to take some black, some of my black paint. This is kind of gray, kind of black. It makes this color. So. We're going to take that, and we're going to set that to the side because we're going to need that in a minute. And then we're going to take another paper plate. Goodness, guys, these ones are sticking together today. Set this to the side for just a minute. And I am going to grab... My gray marker, it's okay if you don't have a gray marker, you can use a different color marker or you can use just a black marker or whatever kind of color marker you have. So first, I'm gonna make some ears. Oops. 
this. We're going to make a really big C shape. And then we're going to make a backwards C. Just like that. And that's going to be our ears. So when you're cutting this, I'll put my scissors down so I can show you. Cut right here and cut right here because this middle part is going to be our trunk. Cut just like that. And then cut up on your other one. So now you should have a trunk, this extra paper for your trunk, you should have your, one of your ears and another ear. So now we're just going to cut our ear shapes out. Put something like that. I'm going to cut the other one out. And then our trunk, we're going to leave this top part, and then we're going to kind of make a J shape. So I'll draw it a little bit. So all we're going to do is we're going to make this. See where I cut? I made a swipe down right here. And a curve right here. So it makes kind of a J shape. And we're just going to cut our trunk. Just like that. I'm actually going to make my swoop out just a little bit bigger. So all you gotta do for that is just cut a bigger curve. There. That's what my elephant trunk looks like. It looks just like a J. So next we're going to take our paper plate. Yeah, I'm going to put my scraps of paper or my scraps of plate to the side and then I'm going to take my trunk come to the bottom um if yours has like a rim like this see how mine has a rim that's where I'm going to be putting my trunk so like I said make sure it's the curved side out and then it doesn't matter which way you want to put your trunk um, I'm going to put mine so the curved sides kind of go together. Then I'm just going to take my glue. I'm using my glue stick for this because it dries a little bit faster. If you don't have a glue stick, you can definitely just use white glue. We're just going to hold it for a few seconds. I'm actually going to put a bit more glue on mine. It's not quite sticking. I don't think I put quite enough glue on there, guys. There we go. And I put quite a bit of glue on there. And then hold it so it sticks. We're going to take our ears. You want to go paper side to paper because that makes them stick a little bit better. I'll put some glue on our ear part, and then wherever you're going to stick it on your elephant. Hold 
pulled it down. Hold it down. There we go. Now I've got some more glue over here on this side. Hold it down. And then we're gonna pick up our elephant. It should look kind of like that. Oh man, my ears are falling off. I hold them on quite long enough. Again, we're just going to fold and make just one second. There we go. Just like that. Um, sometimes it is easier to make your eye holes before you cut your ears and or before you paste on your ears. So we're gonna have to re-glue them. That's okay if yours falls off. Totally fine. So we have some eye holes. Set our scissors to the side. Pick up our glue again. All you gotta do is just repaste them on there. And it's totally okay. Paste them a little bit. Then we are going to paint. So we are going to grab our black paint and a paintbrush. Dip our paintbrush in there and just paint away. Ears are really good. Make sure you get all of the white parts of your paper plate.
I'm going to move my paper plate. This one, my trunk is underneath there now. Make sure I don't get any paint on the table or wherever you are working. There is our elephant. Just like that, guys. All right, so let's move on to the, hmm, I think we'll move on to the frog. Now, if you don't want to use as many paper plates as I do, you can always lay down like a garbage bag or um, make sure you protect your surface just to make sure that you aren't getting paint everywhere. I just have paper, extra paper plates on hand, so that's what I'm using to protect my table. So now I'm going to put the cap back on my black. Put my brown to the side. I'm gonna take um, another paper plate. We're making this frog. So we're gonna cut the paper plate just a little bit. Scissors to the side. Make sure you save this part because this is going to be our tongue for later. So, We are going to take our green paint um, and we'll paint this, but first we're going to cut some eye holes. You are really careful when you're cutting your eye holes. Just make sure you don't get hurt. Scissors to the side, extra paper to the side, it should look like this. So for this one, we are also going to paint with the um, paper side up, the curved part up, the more papery side. Alright, so we're going to open our green paint. We are going to grab a paintbrush, just dip it in our green. Just paint this all over. And very careful not to get paint everywhere. If you get it on your hands, remember I am using a washable today. Um, So this will come off your hands. Um, so make sure when you're done with this, make sure you wash your hands really, really, really well. Just make sure you have them all clean.
Now my frog is all painted. I'm going to set him to the side for just a minute. And I'm going to set my paintbrush over to the side. And then I'm going to grab this part of my paper plate again. And I'm going to cut just a little bit of the curved part off. Put my extra to the side, so my extra to the side. I'm going to grab a pink marker. Oh, that's green. It was right next to my thing. I'm going to grab my pink marker. And we are just going to color this pink. And we're going to color both sides pink. And this back side doesn't have to be perfect. So, got our sides pink. And then we're going to roll it. So we're going to roll it this way. Doesn't matter which side you want to roll it. Um, I would put the side that is that you colored a little bit better towards the front. You're going to roll inward like that. So I would tell them that looks like that. Right, so now we're going to take our frog. We're going to take some glue. Just on the very bottom. We are going to put our tongue. like that and there's our frog so we're going to set him to the side and we have one more animal to do so lastly we are going to be making our rhinoceros so we are going to take our paper and cut it pretty much in half or as close to half as you can get Take your smaller, if you have a smaller side, take it and put it to the side. And we're going to flip it over so that the curve is up. We're going to take our gray marker and we're just going to color. Make sure you color all of that white. So now that we have this all white, or all gray, we have all the white covered, we're going to take our scissors again, and we are going to be making some eye holes. Fold it a little bit. Thank you. 
cut, cut some circles. I've got that one all the way through. Try again. There we go. Make sure you are being super careful when you are doing this because you don't want to cut yourself. Okay, I have some eye holes. Now we're going to set this part of our rhinoceros to the side. I'm going to grab this part. So this part. All we're gonna do is we're gonna draw some tri we're gonna draw one triangle, make it pretty tall and pretty big. We're gonna color it. are going to cut this one. You see any parts that are uncovered, make sure you color it. Then we're going to take this other big part and place our horn, our triangle down on top. And then we are going to trace it. Just like that. Set your other piece of the triangle to the side. And then color this one. And we are going to cut this one out. Then we are going to be taking our two pieces. We are going to glue them together. One side. Glue it down. And then leave about this much space, this much space at the bottom. And don't glue that part. Go, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold each side down. So your triangle should look like that. See how it has two folded up flaps? Make sure it's all together. Make sure it lines up. We are going to take our rhinoceros plate and some glue. We're going to glue this right in between the eyeballs or the eye holes. It's right here. We are just going to pull it down. There's your horn. I'm going to draw some nose pieces. I'll turn mine around so you can see. I'm going to draw them kind of like C's. And there is your rhinoceros. The last step that we have to do is to cut some holes um, for each one of the masks um, to make sure that we have a string that goes around our masks. So I'm gonna show you it on the rhinoceros because this one is dry. Um, the other ones, 
like the frog and the lion and the other ones that you have paint on, you're going to want to wait till it's all the way dry before you put some um, string on it. So all we're going to do, point you back down, so we're going to kind of fold in this corner. We're just going to make a little itty bitty cut just like that. You just have just a little itty bitty hole. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Fold it down. Make just a little cut. So now we have two holes on either side. We're gonna take some string, kind of measure it around the back of your head. Up until this point of your eyes. And then cut. And we are going to take our string and put it through just like that. Right, come down tie it just like that so you should have a loop right there and you're going to do the same thing to the other side There you go. There is your rhinoceros mask all done. Just like that. All right, guys, I had so much fun making these crafts with you. Um, I hope that you send us pictures if you make this yourself. Um, leave a comment below what your favorite safari animal is, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.